Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Chaffee, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We need to do a blue baby run, and we need us uh, some boss rush mode to knock out the last of the post-it notes. We got Cellar XL to start, which I guess is a good thing. It means that I need to get spirit hearts like stat so that I can try to take a deal with the devil so that I can try... I mean, let's face it, for me, the standard, the benchmark for ZGYTJMR, the standard, the benchmark for success on any run where I think I might have the opportunity to go to, go to boss rush bleh, the opportunity to go to boss rush would be uh, do I have an early guppy if I have an early guppy item I feel relatively confident that I can get away with trying out boss rush I, obviously there's the the single I'd say game winning items but I had I had mom's knife on suicide king recently and that uh, was not a guaranteed game winning run I managed, oh, did I ever manage to throw the shit out of that challenge? Um, I won't, uh, you know, I guess that kind of spoils it. If you if you heard that, you've heard that I almost spoiled it, or that I almost threw. Man, it's, it's so far and away my least favorite of all the challenge runs, so. High Priestess will help us maybe swat down, like if we have the, the haunt, we can go ahead and get through that with relative ease. This room's scary as hell. We're on a pretty big streak right now, which is uh, exciting, and yet at the same time, it means that what I, where I already have problems with anxiety, I'm I'm not getting better. I'm getting worse. I am uh, I am trying actually trying to battle that with uh, with something in particular. I, this fucking room is going to be what cost me boss rush. I don't, I'm not going to go out there and just indiscriminately lose spirit hearts like these spiders. That's you know they exist. Do I? Oh, yeah, 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 come on over here and, and get your freak on, get your freak on, get your, get your, get your, get your, get your, get your freak on. So, my, uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've kind of documented pretty comprehensively that I struggle with kind of the, the anxiety of, like, do, not, the, the mental preparation that is required to do anything is almost entirely, this is probably true across the board unless you're, I don't know, like, uh, lion tamer. Or you know you, you decide that you need to murder someone that you love, I would I would imagine more often than not that the anxiety about doing something is way worse than actually okay, than actually doing something, and so um, I'm trying to sort of figure out what keeps me from from accomplishing the things that I want to accomplish in a timely manner, and so I've, I've started to, to as of today decide to organize like literally organize every waking minute of my of my day. Uh, this is not worth a, a devil card, I don't think. I think I can... S I don't think that it'll change the number of tears that it takes to kill the little spider. So, uh, yeah, man, I've got a whiteboard in front of my desk, and I have literally earmarked every waking moment from coffee to dinner. And hopefully, in doing so, it kind of gives me an impetus to get over, like, the, the jitters that come with, oh, well, i got to get started. Oh, I don't want to get started. Once I get started, you know, what if I don't have time? What if I get worried about how it's turning out what if uh, I sh start something and realize I should be doing something else and I think now that uh, you know that I've started sort of implementing this w what I'm gonna find is that when everything's accounted for there's a lot less ambiguity and it's a lot less scary I guess we'll take the cartridge this is uh, what once in a blue moon we get the oh, okay once in a blue moon we get the uh, my uh, like a, the the game kid reaction so um, so yeah, man, I, I, I don't know if that, okay, <laughs> Kobe, I don't know if that'll work, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot, I, I find that I deal better with doing, I don't want to say unpleasant things, but I've, I've told you guys time and again that I, I sympathize with anybody who says they have kind of stage fright, or don't think that they could, you know, that want to do YouTube, but feel really apprehensive about like, oh, I've got a weird voice, or oh, I've got a weird face, I've got all those things, and I've got the same anxiety that goes along with Trying to make those things work for you. So, I feel your pain, dog. I think what we're going to do is, unless something significant or drastic changes the complexion of this run, we are going to use the Devil card on the first boss room, and we'll use the High Priestess on the second one. I've not. I've got two bombs, man. I've got two bombs. I'm in such a stellar situation as Blue Baby. I've not seen a single Tinted Rock. If, if they've been here and I've missed them, I apologize. I'm clearly history's greatest monster, but uh, I, I have not I have not seen them. <laughs> These things have not become readily apparent in my life. They've not become readily available. 
Speaking of discipline, I woke up I woke up with an alarm this morning. That shit normally doesn't happen, but it's gonna happen from here on out. I woke up with an alarm long before I really wanted to. I need I need spirit hearts. Like there's no sense in me going in here if I don't have spirit hearts because I can't do the deal with the devil if it's gonna kill me. Unless it's nine lives, but that's a pretty specific ask. So I woke up this morning with an alarm, went to the gym. Uh, I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit from it still. That's it's gross, but it, it tis what tis. Um, so yeah, man, I uh, woke up with an alarm. Can, where's my everything? Is that it? Is that really it? Oh my god. Okay, we have to find the secret room, which I think has to be right here. And I need enough money to buy a spirit heart. Oh, 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 oh don't be the counterfeit penny. Oh, <laughs> you dick. Well, we'll take that. I mean, it's a good thing. Do I have a room that's, as I say, do I have a room that's mostly pots? Oh, this is a big gamble. Oh, you suck so hard. Oh, you suck so hard. I'm gonna shoot fire. I need one more scent. If there is a spirit heart, that's what we're that's what we're gonna need. God damn it. All right. Well, that's a bummer, but I guess I mean, was there any fire in here? There wasn't, was there? No. There's just all these Grateful Dead fans sitting around in a fucking circle. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Well, I guess it's gonna be an angel run. Is what it is what it's shaping up to be. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We'll. Do this once, then we'll come back, nail Duke of Flies, with the Devil Card bonus. My lips literally suck together. With the Devil Card bonus, we should be able to hit these flies in one pop each. There we go. We pick up health. You know what? I, I, I'm ashamed to say that I didn't even think about that as an option. Now let's go back, and we'll pick up the High Priestess. Clearly, our, our big ask here is nine lives. We could be talked into the Pact. We could be talked into the Mark. Uh, what else? The uh, ceremonial robes would be a good pickup. Abaddon obviously would be huge. Judas's shadow, I could be convinced. I don't know, man. I, I get a little nervous about blue baby runs because obviously the health thing is a, a big deal right out of the gate. All right, we will hold on to the high priestess. I wish I'd done this backwards, man. We'll hold on to the high priestess uh, because I, I can't take damage in this room. I can, like I'm, I'm physically capable of taking damage in this room. I need to work very hard to not take damage in this room. So I am going, and be, because it's a champion fistula, I think I, I have the requisite skill set necessary to actually pull that off. So long as I sort of treat this like a, like an envy fight, if I treat this like an envy fight, I should be fine. If I just kind of work on one piece at a time and try not to create too many Mr. McGiblets floating around in the air, then we should be good. So yeah, we're taking the uh, hopefully more organized approach at the day. I, I I still got I got stuff done in the past in the past couple of months. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I I just have a tendency to do it at weird hours, and it throws off my internal clock, where I get really upset because I'm doing work at like three in the morning. Do we get we didn't get a oh we got a red heart out of that well, that blows. Synth oil's a good pickup. Synth was a pretty good pickup. Yeah, that's a great pickup. Yeah, yeah! I'm sorry, I'm really excited. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do this, do that. We actually got that. We gained health and got two damage upgrades. That's remarkable. Let's let's move ourselves down to the next floor. As always, my, my allegiance is to the win. Mm. Coffee's good. But my allegiance is to the win. If we can manage to swing boss rush at the same time, I'll, I will happily accept that. Because we could conceivably pick up uh, health inside the shop, I am going to go ahead and fight this for consumables. Con More than anything, we need bombs and money, so I will, I will be pleased, pleased as punch, to come in here and take a little bit of a gamble on on how we spend our time in the hopes that we'll succeed and, and pick up what we need to, to sort of get an advantage here. Blue Baby, man, I love him. I, 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 I should feel nerve-wracked. Oh, that's so good. I should feel nerve-wracked from one run to the next with him, but I, I just I can't get enough of this guy. I think I think it's just because once once you get the uh, the Polaroid, I mean I guess the negative if you're super OP as Blue Baby, but once you get the Polaroid, man, I don't want to say you're on easy street, but it, it, if you can hold out for long enough, you start to to gain advantages that other characters don't inherently have, and the the, the trade-off for that is that you have a real dodgy start. So if you can manage to navigate the the dodgy start, then a lot of good stuff can happen. Uh, during a blue baby run. I, th I think that I like I like that inherent different dynamic the, the same way that I'm coming around on Lazarus the same way that 
Judas is super scary. I, I feel like if if and when the streak ends, I have a I have a gut feeling it's gonna be a Judas run that does it to us. If I'm gonna level with you, I've had daydreams about like walking into a room with a champion and having that champion hit us for one health on like a cave or on like a basement XL. There's part of me that wants to look for health here. There's part of me that doesn't want to futz with it. Uh, let's go check our, our item room. We have we're, we're blessed to have lots of key. Nope. I just did a run with my reflection. I got no real desire to do that again. I'm sure it could be fun. I'm sure we can make something nifty out of it. Oh god, I needed to make that dodge. I'm sure we can make something fun or nifty out of it, but it's a it's a it's an item that limits my ability to perform. And every, like I took I took Bob's brain on the last run, and I, I tried to talk myself into reasoning the fact that we, ooh dog. I mean that doesn't do us any good, but it is really cool to get one third guppy on this floor. I would love to get to that. I don't have the ability to fly. I'll take some. I'll take interesting items, interesting and fun items. My, my my real issue is that I don't want to take interesting items and quote unquote fun items that that run us the ability to get us killed. Oh, you suck, Polycephalus! I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. That's how Mom did it. That's how America does it. And so far, it's worked out okay. That's I bastardized. I like I paraphrased the shit out of that. Like I need to not cite my source on that because the the folks who made Iron Man will crush me. I'll take the speed upgrade. If nothing else, it'll help us navigate the, the rest of this floor quickly. What the fuck is this room layout? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Get on my level, Isaac Scrub. I, 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 I adore the fact that there are still room layouts that uh, mystify me after playing probably 400 hours of this game. I've played well over 400 hours of this game, I guess, at this point. I am going to go to that curse room. I would love the pills, but I'm not going to spend the bombs to check them out. They could be good, but they could just as easily be bad. If we have PhD, I would give it a shot. And it could still be like paralysis. It could still be puberty, um, which are totally not worth it. I was kind of scared there for a split second that... Oh, man. Yeah, I should have checked the shop beforehand. Let's find one more scent. I think... No, that's not our secret room. Our secret room must be next to the item room? Yeah, look at that, man. I had no idea. I wasn't really paying, I mean, I was paying attention, but I wasn't really paying attention. Now it has to be coins, which means we're going to get theirs option, which, hmm, we're going to get theirs options, which is going to help us uh, down the road. Let's go ahead and, and sort of get in here and see what's happening with our, oh man, second guppy item? No, but we're plenty fast enough to get away from that troll bomb, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say not worth it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say not worth it. I'm also going to say, let's go back and buy theirs options now before I forget about it. Yeah. And I'm going to leave that money in my pocket because if we get down to the next floor and we have the ability to buy a bomb, we may want to do that. One bomb is good. Two bombs is better. Thank you, one third guppy. Thank you, speed upgrade. Thank you, there's options. It was a good floor, man. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling grateful. Thank you, India. Thank you, Terrence. Thank you, dude. Who parked my car? I admittedly didn't take the time to memorize any of Alanis' lyrics past Jagged Little Pill. So, in case you were wondering, don't, like, don't quote me. Don't go, like, you know, don't go to, like, Alanis' house and be like, Hey, my friend Tappy's a big fan, and then sing my bastardized, uh, paraphrased Alanis lyrics. Just like you wouldn't want to go, you know, use my bastardized, uh, fucked up, uh, Iron Man quotes. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't show offline on Steam, man. Everybody knows I'm playing Isaac, man. The cat's out of the bag. People are going to start scheduling their days around when I record. Like, hundreds of thousands of people. I, I may have just severely damaged the American economy. These people are like, I can't go to work. Taffy records Isaac at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't necessarily understand how macroeconomics work. It's fine, though, because ultimately I'm only like the acting CFO of a, of a internet startup. So, it's not like I need to know that kind of shit. Like, leave the nerds. Uh... You know, that's more of a suggestion for me. They're like, hey, Taffy, you need to pick this stuff up and sort of apply yourself and learn. And I'm going to be like, uh, no, I'm the boss. I own this company. And they're going to say, dude, we all own this company. We have no employees. And I'm going to be like, you're fired. You are straight the fuck up fired. <sighs> oh, oh, that's a fucking scary room, man. I don't know exactly. 
I did the opposite of what I normally try to do in that situation, which is I panic and run around and try to get hit in the face by a shot. And that time I did the opposite, which was hold still and get hit in the face by a shot. So I'm not sure where the happy medium ground on that is. Maybe it's like you panic a little bit and then slow down or you start slow, but then panic at the very end. Uh, maybe you start slow and then you panic at the disco. I, I'm not sure. Uh, no scientific research to support that one. Let's take a peek. If it's an item, I'll fight for it. Eh, um, we'll see. We'll see what's in the shop. I'm gonna let him take his charge first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna disturb his natural circadian rhythm. There we go. This is more than likely our secret room. Can't be. I, I've got decent rate of fire on tears. Oh, it's not our secret room. I had a pretty decent rate of fire on tears, so I'm gonna. Uh, I am gonna try my. Whoop. I'm gonna try my best. Fuck off with this room. I'm gonna try my best to shoot some poop. Not a ton of it, but I do. Ah, fuck! I couldn't get around that one. This room's a nightmare. This room's a fucking nightmare. Are you serious with this? We got this guy. Uh, like, did I pick up Champion's Belt? Because it feels like I picked up Champion's Belt. Jesus Christ. Is that Gemini or is that Pisces? That's Pisces. That's great. Speaking of wanting to shoot poop. Oh, and that's why. You know, like. I'll try to get boss rush, but okay, dokie. <laughs> I'm so s sorry. That kind of blew my mind a little bit. Like the the curse of the moderately confused and mildly annoyed uh, keeps dumping me off in rooms where combat has not already occurred, and that is uh, playing havoc with my sense of direction and my anticipation of what's coming from one room to the next. That's a lot of money. Please, I was gonna say, please be good. Well, I'm glad I... Well, I guess it doesn't matter that I saved bombs because I got a shit ton of bombs. But I am glad that I saved bombs for that particular reason that I need health going into the next... Okay. I need health going into the boss fight because I would love another deal with the devil, especially if it's a guppy item. Uh, okay, at least it didn't hurt us. I'm going to go back and fight this room. If, I, if it had been a... If, if a spirit heart drops... If a spirit heart drops, I'll... I'll be a, a master strat, 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 strategy maker, statistician, stratosphere, stratospherian, stratosphuron. I don't know what strategy maker is. Strategic commander. What is a what's the official title for somebody who creates and crafts strategy? A statistician is just somebody who keeps statistics. Who I mean would be useful to somebody who makes strategy, but that's not. It's clearly not the context that I'm looking for here. Please don't push him into me. Oh, we're gonna about to do, are we about to take the the riskiest deal with the devil deal of all time? I'm kind of hoping for Krampus. Yay! Boo! Stop shooting at me. Like I, I'm glad you're here, bro. But let's not make it all about you. Um, we did pick up another damage upgrade. If we can get, uh, I'll, I'll clear clearly I'll take Krampus's head, but I'd prefer as always lump of coal. That's awesome. We're off to quite the start. Health. Oh God. All right, well, let's pretend I, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make it to boss rush, but I'm going to keep trying. I could go back and look for the secret room. It could totally be worth it. I need, I need a speedy level, he says as he stops and shoots poop. Shut up, man. I'm, I'm aware of the irony of the situation I've created for myself. That said, I do kind of feel like we possibly have the ability to start to, I don't know, not, not snowball out of control, but to continue on our, on our trajectory, on our path of, of upward ascension. I guess all ascension is probably upward, but yeah, to continue on this path of, of ascension that has got us on, on almost inevitably being successful, but no spirit, oh, spirit heart, spirit heart, spirit heart, I almost walked back through the bomb, yeah, sure, I'll take uh, both a card, oh my god, I almost walked into that fire, yeah, let's do this, let's do this, uh, double wick, or uh, double wicked, is that wicked? Is that what they're called? I don't know. Double big ass spider. Not triacnid. We've got significant rate of fire and we've got decent enough damage. Oh, we got really good damage. Like, let's not shortchange ourselves. Blue Baby's done a bang up job of getting uh, out of control big. So, because Blue Baby's done a good job of getting swole, let's, let's reward that by taking a uh, damage upgrade. Uh, if I can get the item room, like, really quickly, if I can get the item room really quickly, I will, I will skip this floor and go on to Depths 2 in a, in a mad rush attempt to get boss rush. 
but I have to... Only doing this because I don't have time... Uh, let's see. Ah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'm just, I'm not going fast enough. And that's kind of my, it's definitely my own fault, but... Once again, man, I'm in service to the win, not to the... I'm in service to the win, and not to boss rush. If we get, at some point, inevitably, there will come a point where we will... Where we will get, like, a, a first deal with the devil brimstone or mom's knife or something like that. And that won't be a guaranteed success, but it, it'll be as close as you get in this game. I just, you know, how bad would I be kicking myself if I missed the small rock? How bad would I be kicking myself if I missed the opportunity to fight this room full of fucking nightmares? I'm just trying to kill anything that I can. There we are. The shop could be awesome. It's probably greed. It's not greed. It's black candle, which gives us the health and no curses necessary to feel comfortable with the rest of our run. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of had a feeling. Oh, there's a tinted rock back here too. Yeah, it's just too much good. You leave behind too much good if you're not already comfortable. And let's face it, at three and a half hearts, we weren't comfortable. If you're not already comfortable, then trying to shoehorn boss rush into a run where it doesn't already exist is foolhardy like that's the that's the nicest compliment or the nicest criticism i can come up with is it's foolhardy so uh we might as well go explore the rest of the rest of the floor now i'm gonna go ahead and try secret room nope secret room nope i mean in in all honesty a i, I probably would have known that if i'd looked for the sort of the, the narrow entrance uh, i'm not getting out of here I'll feel fine about having to fight these rooms so long as I come out of it ahead. And so far, we're still ahead health from where we turned back from the boss fight, so... Most of these rooms will be fine. Let's just do this. There we go. Most of these rooms will be fine. Most of these rooms we can navigate. It's just the, the hyper-aggressive masks of infamy that are, that are problematic. This one's not bad. Been daydreaming about a meal I made last night. I know, like, shocker, Fat Taffy thinks about food, but, like, even if Fat Taffy becomes Skinny Taffy, I need you guys to be aware of the fact that I will I will consistently daydream about food. I made, uh... Oh, that's that's huge for us. That's big. That's... I'm gonna call it one run. Uh, mark the time. At 10.45 on Friday. <laughs> this one became a one run because we got a red heart after paying a key for it. I made, uh, it's one of the nice, one of the, like, really nice things about being a, an adult is, like, getting to decide what you eat for dinner. My mom fried everything in, in, in butter. She was, like, Paula Dean, but, like, blonder. And so, you know, when, uh, I might as well, I mean, I'm gonna leave it behind. When I got old enough, I started to cook my own meals. And it's really, like, it's really cool being able to do that. So last night, me and Mrs. Taffy sat down and did uh i she she surprised me with i said go buy protein and she came back with a london broil which we're doing tonight which is awesome speed up yeah sure and she came back with a like two pounds of shrimp and so uh raw like had to, had to vein and shell them and everything which i i don't mind i know that i, I feel like i'm getting a better product when i do that because i don't i don't necessarily like using frozen frozen meat but you know sometimes that's the most convenient option so Anyway, we devein and peel these shrimp, and long story short, man, I threw it in with some whole wheat spaghetti and a cream sauce with Parmesan and uh, a bunch of truffle oil and a little bit of crisp pancetta and shallots and what else did I do? Uh, yeah, I mean, fresh garlic and, and took a baguette that was made out of... Oh, okay, I'm not going to be able to kill that thing until all these flies are dead. That seems reasonable. Oh, uh, this thing could be the most overpowered boss of all time if you didn't have uh, rapid fire removal. So yeah, uh, took a, a, ba a whole whole grain baguette and made some buttery garlic bread. It was not a healthy meal. I kind of intended like, oh, I've got shrimp. I can make a healthy meal. Fat taffy took over, and we had you know a nice glass of white wine with dinner. It was it was pleasant, man, and. You know, there, there's, there's not a guarantee that we're always going to be able to have that, so in the times we, where we have a little bit of disposable income, it's it's nice to enjoy that. And I just wanted to share, because I know that i got some foodie friends out there in the denizen realm. 
Uh, Fat Tappy ate like a king last night and, and wanted you guys to be able to share in the mental aspect of, of that experience. It was so good. <laughs> I, I, I love to cook. I love to cook. Uh, my, pro my problem is that I don't always... Boy, I'm really playing fast and loose with these pills, man. I love to cook, but my real problem is that I don't always pull stuff at the exact moment where everything's cooked and beautiful. I, I have a tendency to be like, well, if it's ready now, I think another 25 minutes simmering should put us in a place where it looks visibly disgusting, but still tastes pretty good. I'm getting a little bit better about... I'm getting a little bit better about saying, okay, that, that vegetable is clearly finished. Let's go ahead and pull that off while it still has some crunch to it and still retains its flavor and is still nice and visually appealing because, you know, the super pretentious among us say this, and they're not necessarily wrong. You, you eat first with your eyes and you eat first with your nose and that you see and you smell the food. And, um, you know, I, I have a tendency to take real, real... I, I love food, man. It's just, it's a sensual thing. It's a sensory, sensual, sensory thing where... Good food, man. It it it, it hits you in, in all the feels, and I don't know. I, I I get really excited. I get it's the worst part about trying to lose weight is I get really excited about food, and when I try, when I try to uh, uh, gussy up, you know, healthy food, and say like, oh, well, I'm gonna eat healthy food. It's like, okay, well, cool. That you know, that's responsible of you, and I make like a grilled chicken breast with some steamed vegetables and I'm just like yeah see I, I took a chicken breast and I grilled it and then I put it on a plate and I added nothing else and I know that I could I, I could do better you know there's like salsas and fat-free cheeses and um, herbs and like everything becomes about seasoning when you're trying to eat healthy like you try to get like low salt herbs and 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 roasts and you know rubs and stuff like that and that uh, that's fine and good, and I can still get up, I can still get excited about having that kind of food, but there is still part of me that's just like, you know what would make this awesome is a fuck ton of butter. I'm still trying to fight that because of, of the sort of inherited, uh, the inheritance of what my mom, ooh, I just take Skatol right off the bat, man. Thank you. The inheritance of what my mom gave me, where everything's covered in butter and salt. Like, that's the reason that nobody in my family lives past... Lives past the age of, like, 55. Well, I mean, like, both my folks have made it. I don't know why. Like, I, I'm not, like, wishing... I'm not rooting against them. Like, I don't call them every day and be like, Hey, Mama Taffy, what's going on? You still alive? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I owe Amber a Coke. <laughs> but, like, I'm cheering for them. I want them to make it. Let's go ahead and take this. And this. I'm nervous about the pills, man. I don't... I'll donate before I'll take pills. We're in a good spot, and a bad pill like a tears down or another health down could... Well, I mean, obviously I wouldn't take another health down because I would see it. Another health down could totally kind of... Something, yeah, like, exactly like that. Could totally fuck us up. Balls of Steel, though, is a pretty exceptional pill, and now that I know it's in the rotation, we're going to take this with me. Pick up the pills, I told chat, and chat was like, no, Taffy, that's too risky, and I was just like, that's why you're not the master strategician. Bu it's like beautician and stra I've already been to the secret room. Why am I just throwing away my last bombs? Brad, it's because strat, 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 mad, mad strats, dog. I don't know. Fucking, I want to know what that guy is. What's his job title now? Strat, stratistician. Ugh, it's gonna drive me insane. Gimpy's a fine pickup. Well, it's like a 15% chance when we get hit to cough up a spirit heart. Once again, you know, Guppy Guppy seals the deal on this run, man. And I'll, I'll take it because Guppy is not only overpowered, but it's actually really fun to watch. It's a controlled chaos that you get to unleash. It's an anti-hero. Oh, fuck me. Everybody loves a good anti-hero. Why am I fighting this room? Like, why is this room a priority to me? I can't even get, I can't even get, thanks to my bullshit bomb usage on a secret room I've already been to, I can't even get to the, the gray chest there. Theon gray chest. Oh, that's a really scary start to this room. I would love the ability to fly. That would take a lot of the guesswork out of these areas that I would no longer um, have, have to navigate. There we are. There we are. Good, good, good. As long as we can keep generating balls of steel pills, I feel like I can, I can rest comfortably saying that this is a one run. 
I will still try to try to figure out ways to snowball out of control. Just getting a couple of damage, not even a couple of damage upgrades. We got what is it, synth oil. We got oh, speed upgrades. Fine. We got synth. Jesus. We got blood of the martyr. Worth noting. <laughs> we got synth oil. We got uh, sword of Pisces. There's nothing worse than having good damage but having shitty rate of fire. Which you know, any any of you guys out there getting all up on Polythemus's dick? Uh, it's a good item. But it is not a game-winning item in and of itself. It is an item that still needs a lot of help to become god tier. Like, it, it doesn't need a lot of help, but, like, you need some tier upgrades. You need something. I'm gonna go back and see what our last room was, just in case. I can't play you, Demon Judgment, as much as I would like to. I may blow you up. I don't know if that... Inc I know the... Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. I still take advice from people on in the comment section who, who in retrospect, admit, like happily and clearly admit to me that they have no fucking clue what they're talking about and I'm like oh good I jeopardized an entire oh shit I jeopardized an entire run to go with your advice um the sun's clearly better for us than full health Capricorn is a fucking all stats upgrade we are crushing it on this run that's the thing is that blue baby runs can be like oh okay taffy focus taffy focus <laughs> bad taffy no fattening butter that's the thing with blue baby runs, man. Is that they? I I'm, I don't want to I don't want to in, invoke the wrath of the gods by saying like, oh, blue baby runs are so much easier than I give them credit for because that's the time that shit will will go bananas. B a n a n a s. And I, I'm not trying to invoke the wrath of the of the of the gods of the game, but I always feel like I'm never going to get any items or solutions as blue baby, and then I I feel like on those times where I'm sufficiently terrified oh right we have a uh, the shit helmet every time I'm sufficiently terrified of what's happening that to us at oh shit thank you Gimpy everything I'm terrified or every time I'm terrified about what's happening to us as blue baby I feel like solutions just kind of fall from the sky hmm Three spirit hearts to guarantee that we have a deal with the devil on the next floor. Or three spirit hearts for a moderate damage upgrade. Taking both. You know? How you live in Biggie Smalls and Mansions and Benz is giving in to my friends and it feels stupendous. Um, do I want to keep rolling with this? This is I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Am I banking on the fact that Balls of Steel is going to keep showing up? Could just as easily be a shitload of health down pills. This is a guaranteed one spirit heart per six rooms. Might as well. I'm gonna go with that. And if we see tinted rocks along the way, we have an ability to crush them and turn them into health. Even I mean, I know we got bogo bombs, but it you know it could happen. So uh, I'm just gonna use this here because I want to know where everything is. Like I love the sun card, I really do, but it's more valuable as a health upgrade pill. Yeah, see, more valuable. Okay, well now I need. There's there's another spirit heart waiting for us. I can't crush the mushrooms in case one of them explodes on me. Uh, yeah, I absolutely need to use the, the the nail charge here. So let's let's not jeopardize that by starting battle with the room. And then let's go ahead and come back in here and get our battery charge and head down towards our pride fight. And that should, uh, that should go relatively quick. Yeah, I'd say so. The Emperor card? Yeah, sure, what the hell. Let's just go ahead and do this fight now. Wow, we are knocking the shit out of him. I don't want to walk into a spider. That'll really royally piss me off by walking into a spider. Jesus juice, so we'll get another damage upgrade. Sorry, little Steven, you're you're fine. There's like there's nothing functionally wrong with you. Was this worth it? Oh. Do I take this up to the angel room just to get like No. We just use it now. We get two items, which is you know, it's good. We got speed ball and we got magic eight ball, which is fine, but uh, you know, I'm not going to take it up to the cathedral just to get Dead Sea Scrolls, you know what I mean? And leave the nail and leave a pill, a pill bottle that is paying out with balls of steel behind. So, uh, ultimately, I don't think our gamble was worth it, but we were in a privileged place where we could make that decision without really putting ourselves in, in harm's way too bad. We just continued to, to steamroll this game with regards to 
how many damage items we picked up and our rate of fire so long as it doesn't somehow drastically decrease. Like, I guess if... Well, we don't, we have Black Candle, so it can't even trick us by giving us... It can't even trick us by giving us, uh... Curse of the Unknown. Now, oh, let's stop long enough to kill these hands. Cool. I'm gonna go kind of explore for Spirit Hearts. Or for Tented Rocks. Might as well, right? We'll go ahead and ball out of control with regards... Oh, I want the ability to fly. I don't see any Tented Rocks in this room. It's probably because there aren't any. Um, but it would have been useful had there been... Had there been... Yeah, so we're, we're in good shape. The knockback is not bad. We had, uh, you know, some some mobile bosses where it could have been, but it, it chose to pan out all right for us. We got crazy damage. Uh, you know, the, the, the dream of Guppy still lives inside me. I've, I've jeopardized the run trying desperately to make it happen for us. Um, I don't really want to fight that for a, for a gray chest, man. I will come in here, though, and check out our curse room. The ability to grow overpowered lives strong in me. There we are. Uh, oh gosh. I'm hopeful. Well, I'm still hopeful. Item. Uh, we got a bomb back. It won't cost us anything to come in here, which is, I, I you know, great. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that it panned out that way for us. I can't complain. It, you know, normally, I guess what, what it is is that normally the back end stuff is the stuff that gets exciting for us. Uh, the back channel acquirements, uh, acquirements, acquisitions that we come up with. Um, so those situations where it's like, well, our, our boss items have been shit, but we totally got this, that, and that from the devil item, or from the devil room and from the, um, the, the thing with the doodad and the hoo-ha and the, the whatchamacallit. And normally, normally that's enough, like, that's that's the thing that we focus on, is how we manage to, to, oh, well, we didn't have enough money, but we got enough money thanks to this thing we picked up from the shop, and we didn't have this, but then we did that, and blah, 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 blah. But this time it's just been really straightforward, like, this time it's just been really super straightforward. We fought bosses, and, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, we fought bosses, and when we fought bosses, they rewarded us with a metric shit ton of damage upgrades. Like, we got the pentagram, we got Jesus Juice. We got uh, Blood of the Martyr, which came to us from an item room. We got uh, Capricorn, which was a pickup from a, a, a boss trap room. Like, it's been a ridiculous number of stat upgrades and mostly damage upgrades, along with Pisces, which means we can do a lot of damage quickly. So, um, I would have to... Ooh. The knockback can be a little bit problematic if I'm not completely on my toes when it comes to... The, uh, critters like what we just, the, the, the demon sperm. If the demon sperm come at us, bro, then I could push them one way or the other and right, like, right into my trajectory, right up in my, my face holes. My face holes is where I store my happy. I don't want anyone hit me in the face holes. Other people's face holes is also where I store my happy. If I hit them in the face hole, then it feels good. And that can be with any appendage that I hit them in the face hole. I'm mostly talking about dick stabbing at this point. That's, a. Uh, it's a classy term that your grandparents probably used for uh, trying to conceive a child through the mouth. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's just a, uh, the exciting bits of this run are kind of behind us. Oh, you dick. Um, I can't, uh, like, clearly I can't give you health, so I'll just blow you up and see what happens. Yay, lots of money. 13 keys, I feel confident that we're okay doing this. Moon card, yeah, sure. How far back is that going to take me? That's... That's a ways. Full health, not so good. Amnesia, that's a pain in the ass. Puberty is the, at least not bad. Um, Amnesia is inconvenient. I, I glimpsed at the map where we were before the lights went out in Georgia. But, uh, y you know, the reason that I love Black Candles is because normally I don't have to deal with the, those bullshit pills. It does make me feel a little bit better about taking the nail over the pill bottle, though, because in retrospect, there were actually a few more... There were more pills in our rotation than I initially had accounted for. And clearly only a couple of them were good. I'm gonna try to work my way back up. I would like that chariot card. So let's go back up here. We're, we're, we're fast enough. We're smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like us. Oh, damn. I missed that. Um, I don't see any tinted rocks in here, but it is super gratifying to squish rocks with your feet. Opa. Alright, so we know where our mom fight is. Or, or it lives fight. I don't see us having a lot of issues. I don't know, you know, hey Taffy, if we get into a situation where we got a, a one room or a six room, would you re-roll it? Probably not. 
You know, like uh, somebody said the other day, and I think that's why I did it. Uh, somebody said the other day, oh, well, Taffy, you got Boss Rush on Eden, so yeah, re-rolling it's actually kind of cool. We're, we're down with that. And, you know, that's, that, that's, that was, sort of was my line of thought, too, was, yeah, you know, we did it. We Taffy did the thing, so we could reward ourselves with a little wacky. This time, though, we, you know, we didn't do the thing. We didn't get Boss Rush. We didn't accomplish our, our predestined goals, so I don't know that I should jeopardize the, the entirety of what is a really good uh, streak to reward myself for not doing a good job. I'm like channeling my inner dad right now, or my father, just be like, I don't know, I don't want to reward you for mediocrity. Well, I kind of knew we were going to get hit there because we didn't have an out. The, the one down, uh, the, the one down aspect of the Balatar or Gish, either, either or, is that the slowing effect throws the rhythm of the bullets off and it becomes hard to sort of map out where you're supposed to stand. I'm hopeful. Um, more than anything, I'm hopeful that we don't have a lot of exploration to do or that we come across another world or sun card. At this point, mapping becomes important because I don't want to waste health going from room to room trying to find our way through. I see that spirit, or I see that tinted rock. We've already picked up the, I don't know, I might as well take this. I don't know if there's going to be any poop from here on out, but it certainly isn't going to, well, there actually could be a... There's a, a an, an off chance that we could need. Um, if we got... What am I trying to say? If we got... Money equals power. Money would have value. But there's no chance that there's going to be poop anywhere anytime soon. So petrified poop is actually valueless. There's, there's the long, long bomb chance that we might walk out of here with money equals power. I'll play uh, Key Beggar and I'll actually take Master of Lockpicking... If he chooses to give it to me. Oh, don't tempt me, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. What is this? The emperor? We could. I'm going to play this down to five. And then I'm going to blow him. Four. And then I'm going to blow him up. Can't give you any more keys, man. I gave you a shit ton of keys and you gave me almost nothing in return. Emperor card or chariot? We'll do the emperor now. I actually kind of want to explore... I actually kind of want to explore the chest some. Eh. <laughs> prom quotes. Where have they gone? What have you done with our prom quotes? It's a good test of sort of how fearsome or not fearsome our, our damage is. It's good. It's not bad, man. I don't want to sit here and try to poo-poo what is clearly a... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I couldn't get through that one. What is clearly a decent amount of damage. My problem is that I have no orbitals. Thank you, Gish. Uh, just hold still. Yeah, I wasn't getting around that. I have no defensive orbitals, which is kind of a pain in the ass. And I'm not doing an out... It's not obscene. It's a really good amount of damage. Uh, it's not an obscene amount of damage. We're not doing, like, Mom's Knife or Brimstone with Polythemus and Ipecac levels of damage. We're just doing... It, this isn't a struggle, and none of these rooms are going to be a struggle, especially with uh, Polaroid invincibility. But we're not we're not melting Isaac's face off either. We have good speed too. It's just uh, it's going to cause me to need to be more nimble than I necessarily think would be the case. Do I want to work my way back for that chariot card? I kind of think I do. I kind of think I do, especially if it means I could maybe pick up an extra key or two. Plus, I don't see anything in the I don't see anything in the the cathedral being so oh fuck I don't, I don't see anything in the cathedral being so scary that we can't deal with it. And then the first room we get is a uh, motherfucking bloat, dog. I can't believe we got bloat. When was the last time you fought bloat in the cathedral? Like, has anyone besides me ever fought bloat in the cathedral? I'm so confused about what's going on right now. I'm gonna use a bomb here just to try to speed things up because if he juices behind himself again, I'm not gonna be able to. I, I can't. I can't. I can't fly. So you know that's that's the that's the long and the short of it. This room is fucking irritating, so I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna. Well, I gotta fight to get back through. All right, <laughs> let's get it started. Ha! Ah, let's get it started in here. Run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, run in. I can't fly. I can't fly, it makes creep feel disgusting, I can't fly, I'm, this room, this room is, uh, the death of a thousand cuts, man, it's just, uh, it's not, it, it's, it's murder if you're limping along, we're, we're, we're in a privileged place right now as far as, 
uh, being comfortable. We're, we're in a comfortable spot, and we're about to get at least four items to, to improve our position on the next floor. So we're, we're, we're in a good place. But man, oh man, there's just so much. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff in this room. So many envies. And if you lose sight of one, the fact, like, the added sort of blender action of mixing in uh, the in the invincible skulls is such a time. It, it's it drains one's will to live. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm speaking from a place of hyperbole when I say that this this room in particular may be responsible for more suicides than than drugs and heartache pushed together. This room is the worst thing that's, that, like, it, it could be the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Like, it's like my parents' divorce, but it's less fun. Why are there so many red hearts, and why do I not have... Why are there so many red hearts, and why do I not have bum friend, or dark bum, to help assuage my health issues here? Oh, okay, I didn't see the rock. I mean, like, I, I, I didn't see the rock that was on the floor. I also didn't see San Andreas, but I'm probably also, I'm not gonna... Hey! So, when I started this floor, I was 35. I'm now, uh, retiring from all my jobs that I've managed to hold down during this recording. Uh, at one point, I was an arborealist, so... Was it worth it? I think we have the same amount of health. What is this? Oh, I was gonna say, what? why is this here? Do I want to get, uh... I think it's gonna be it's gonna be simpler for me to get uh, a nail charge on this floor than it will be on the ch chest. So I am going to spend the necessary amount of time here. There we go. To go ahead and get a little bit of health, or not a little bit of health, but a little bit of a charge put into the nail, and then I can take that into. I can use that on the first like moderately difficult room that I come across. There we are. Ooh, what's going on in here? I, you know, the guppy dream is dead, man. I'm, I'm fine, I think. I want it so bad. Oh, it's a live bomb! It's the opposite of what I wanted. It's the opposite of what I wanted. That's fine. This is a, just another way to get a, a nail charge. I wasn't necessarily worried about fighting, uh, fighting Chubb and Larry Jr. Oh, no. Hey, hey, ho, ho. This Larry Jr. party's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. There we go. Yeah, once again, uh, the, the slowing effect of Gish is awesome, except for when it throws off your calibrations on how to gauge monsters that move in a very specific pattern. Alright, cool. Let's take our, our four keys and our bad attitude and... Oh god, this fucking room. PTSD. Uh, those were two unexceptional rooms in a row that made me seriously question whether or not I made the right decision in coming back. Alright, big, big, big big ticket items here. It's not nothing. It's really, really good if we can aim it. That's another damage upgrade. I mean, we're... Yeah, what the hell. Technology's fine. It's tech 2 that sucks ass, right? I guess we'll find out. Oh, shit. Tech 1 with a ridiculous rate of fire, plus this eliminates that knockback issue that... I mean, it, it becomes an issue later on. It becomes... Uh, Knockback becomes a problem when you start to get into this place where you see... Oh, it's so good. Where you start to see a, a lot of uh, super mobile bosses, so... Oh. I can't... I can't get it. Hey, where's my... Where's my, uh... Virus, eh? Hosers? Um, I would very much like the virus to proc when I touch enemies that I would prefer to have dead. Let's... Let's not say we did. There we go. Get distant. Blue Baby's only friend is awesome in that when you don't have any method of dealing good amounts of damage, uh, you know, it, it does this, which is cool, but right now we actually have a, a powerful enough run to sort of handle a double cage fight, so. Oh, god damn. Okay, well, the poison's working there. Are, are the previous bosses, are they immune to poison? Like, uh, there's enough, there's enough putrid. Oh my god. Alright, well, double mega fatty here is, is working the synergy of, hey, you shoot a shot up, and when he goes to dodge, I'll suck all the bullets in and hit him when he gets close to us. 
starting to wish I had saved one of those mapping cards, if I'm going to be 100% honest with everybody here. I don't see why I wouldn't be. I, I don't know you well enough to need to lie to you. You're not like, you're not my wife. <laughs> you're not my parents. You're not my son. Sorry, son. Not everybody gets an even shake in life. Not everyone can do what they want to do if they put their minds to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Oh, we could get, uh, conceivably get a spirit heart, so that's actually worth our time. Strength card. Not against, uh, oh, maybe against, uh. I'm actually fat, like, fast enough to dodge, but also fast enough to dodge into on accident when it comes to bullets. Hmm. Hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we'll, I don't know, see another, see another couple of good items. Like, I, I, I want to... What hit? Oh, there's creep on the floor. Are you serious? That sucks balls. Uh, I would like to kill greed first just out of a general sense of anger and bloodlust. I kind of would like to save uh, lust for last, but Bomberman down here is so aggressive. There's like not a whole lot I can do to mitigate the amount of damage that he's putting out. I would love to kill Sloth last. Which is, uh, more plausible. I'm actually act- I'm accidentally hitting him with, uh, Blue Baby's only friend. Totally not meaning to. And I mean- I- I'm- In all sincerity, I'm not meaning to. It's not like a stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself situation. There's a piercing aspect to our shots, which is totally worth it. Money equals power would be a huge pickup now. Sitting at 88 cents. I don't think that this is worth- I don't think that this is worth the, uh, the strength card. Okay, way to immediately make me eat my words. I, I'm a, not nervous, but I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous about this tech one pickup is, is fun. I'm doing it in this, in the name of fun. But, uh, it also has me a little bit petrified about the fact that I seem to be losing, I'd say I'm losing health at about the rate of a heart every four rooms now. And that... It's fine so long as I find Blue Baby soon, but it's not fine if, if I keep getting hit. It's Creep that's getting me, too. I think that there's the part of me that just chooses to be indignant about not having flight. Like, I'm just like, the super privileged, you know, Beverly Hills trophy wife that's like, Well, what do you mean you're out of Cadbury eggs that are also platinum gold leaf? I don't know. Do they do, like, super fancy Cadbury cream eggs? They should. My wife would really get into that. She loves Cadbury cream eggs. Cadbury cream eggs not my thing. I'm big into the uh, I'm big into the the Reese's eggs around Easter time. All right, well we're gonna get another we're gonna get another charge here. We actually could conceivably get uh, a less than three, which would be a nice pickup here. Big money, no whammy. Hey, straight up spirit heart. Same difference, really. We still have the strength card, which we haven't used, and we're not going to. Okay, so we're good. We're in the clear. I was hoping for, I don't know, something more exciting out of our items, like, out of, out of the items and synergy that we had, but I actually think strength is going to be better for us than the chariot card, because we're not only going to get an extra spirit heart, but it'll increase, oh, Jesus, it'll increase the amount of damage we do quickly. We're actually getting pushed around. Oh, shit, I'm... I got a weird sort of oh thank you Gimpy. I got a weird sort of overlap happening like where uh, the momentum of my movement is making me overshoot where I want to stop and it's uh, I, I'm I'm causing myself to run into shots that I think I was I was in a pretty good place to dodge, but instead I kind of walk right into them because I, I go on for a step longer than I meant to. It turned into be an easy run, man. Victory lap, take ourselves in there. I th hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I guess we'll do another challenge run. I'll pepper in, I think, a, a, an occasional random run so we're not just like Blue Baby Challenge Run, Blue Baby Challenge Run. Although Blue Baby Runs are fucking awesome, so I don't know why you would complain about that. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a ranking of any kind, even if it's a thumbs down, because, hey, fuck me for trying, right? And uh, I'm going to go get some work done. But in the meantime, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. On behalf of the denizens of the cave and myself, my name is Taffy, and I will see you tomorrow. I am out.